Good morning. We have the Alpine here today. Exciting day. First motor rebuild on the channel. So we have this 1970 Ski Doo Bombardier Alpine. So we've spent a little bit of time with it so far, and uh, we were able to get it to fire a little bit last video, and now we get to go into the motor. We did our compression tests. One of the jugs was only sitting at 60 pounds. Not good enough. I appreciate the support, all the likes, the subscribes, all that stuff. I'm gonna get right into this thing. We will tear down that top end and see how it's looking. And uh, I was able to source some pistons, but we need to get it torn down uh, before I can order parts. Because I don't order parts before I know what the problem is. I mean, obviously we're gonna we're gonna need rings and stuff, but I gotta I gotta check out that cylinder too. Um, see what kind of shape it's in. You mean I don't need tools to take that off? Whoa, technology! So that was pretty easy. Um, now that we have all that off, we are ready to pull off some heads and have a look in there. Um, you may be wondering, what is Matt doing with this thing? Well, I have a big plan for it, and let's say this is dependability for this thing is number one. So we gotta get it working right properly and dependably and now that we got all that stripped off how would you guys like to look inside a motor this is what your snowmobile engine looks like when you take the cylinder head off uh a modern sled engine would be a little different it would actually have uh, additional cooling ports for water cooling but this one is uh this one's a little old for that so um if you look in here you can see the bad news which is scoring on that cylinder wall and as well as the piston the piston looks really bad actually so that kind of confirms what i really didn't want to see which was um we now need to find a jug for this so let's take it off we'll have a look at the cylinder we will have a look at the other one we'll see where we're at it's uh it's torched This isn't a how-to video, so I mean, I might give some pointers along the way. Don't get a bunch of crud in the engine like that. Uh, but this is all the bottom end components. So a little bit of play that way is fine, as long as we don't have any radial play, which we do not on that. But a little bit of side to side, that's fine. It's normal. Same with this one. I'm going to check it. I don't want to see any radial play, which there is not. A little side to side. That's normal. And, uh... Yeah, this basically is going to sit here with a bunch of cloths in it until we can track down some parts. Anytime you're doing an engine, keep your parts where they need to go. Don't be mixing up cylinder heads or uh, jugs or uh, pistons or anything like that. So this was our bad cylinder, which was um, PTO side, so clutch side. And you can see that... This one is torched. Um, piston domes, pretty, pretty chewed up there in the corner. Rings are seized up. Uh, locating pins are, yeah, they're still in there. Man, that is that is one torched cylinder wall. Uh, it's all beat up. It's all nicked up. So we have to get this one repaired. Uh, it looks like there's a sleeve. Basically, a rule of thumb is that on any of these, you don't want your fingernail to be catching on any part of the cylinder walls. And this one's definitely got some scratching up on it too. Not what I hoped to find, but really what I did expect to find, especially seeing compression that low. Um, so we still, we got carbs out, we got all sorts of stuff out. But what I got to do now is I have to go and source a, uh, a little bit of parts for this thing. So bottom end's good. Uh, I was able to get it to fire, so we know the electrical's fine. We're going to leave this engine out here open on the table while I try to track down some parts for this thing. So that ends another video for the series of the rebuild of this Alpine before we can get out and ride it. Keeping you busy with uh, sled repair videos before me and the fellers can get out and ride again. So 
We'll keep you busy with the fixing of the things for a little while. I'm going to hop on the computer and start looking for some parts. We're going to need carb parts. We're going to need engine parts. We're going to need all sorts of parts. Thanks everybody for watching today. If you're one of my Alberta brothers, heads up. I think I'm going to have some Alberta Snowmobile Show tickets to give away for you uh, coming up in the next few weeks here. I'm not promising that, but I should have some tickets to give away. Uh, we'll all be there at the show, so you can come by, say hi. Um, that's it. I got to go and source some parts for this thing. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, you know the spiel. A video over. <laughs>